So we've got lots of exciting things on the channel this week, starting off with today's video, which is gonna be a long-term review of the Salsa Anything Cage HD. Find out what I like about it and what I dislike in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about bike travel, bike packing, gravel riding, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe, this channel is for you. So before I jump right into the review, if you guys have been enjoying these videos, these uh, looks at interesting products that no one else is really talking about, then consider being a financial supporter of the channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. For as little as three bucks a month, you can help keep the lights on. So I've been using the Salsa Anything Cage HDs for the last couple months. I've taken it on some overnight trips, but mostly I've been using it for day rides, carrying wet wading boots around here in Missoula when I go bike fishing. I feel like I've used them enough to give a final review. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my likes and dislikes about the Salsa Anything Cage HDs. They're made of this durable black plastic material and they ship with a pair of Salsa branded straps. They have drillings for the three hole uh, fork mounts that you see in lots of adventure bikes these days. But I've been using it on our Salsa El Mariachis and have been actually just hose clamping them to the suspension fork. This really isn't the best way to mount them uh, just because of the shape of the spine of the cage. If you look at how the hose clamps interact with the anything cage, it takes away a little bit of the space inside and it kind of prevents a really good solid fit with some items. That said, with the way I have been using it, it's worked out uh, pretty good. You know, using a stuff sack that can kind of conform around uh, that space, you can lock it down pretty well. And even with things like wading boots, uh, I get enough tension and enough hold to keep them in place. But if you're gonna mount something uh, hard-sided, like a big Nalgene bottle or a big 40 ounce of uh, water or something, it will hit that hose clamp and it won't be optimal. So speaking of hose clamps and mounting it, I tried different things. Uh, I tried wrapping the fork in the inner tube, but I found that it would move. So for me, what seems to work best is a single layer of some high quality electrical tape. And the big trick is when you're mounting it with the hose clamps is to get the tension just right so it will hold the cage without accidentally crushing down on the stanchion of the suspension fork. If you're using a tapered fork, you have to be even more careful so you get enough tension so that when you hit a bump, the whole thing doesn't slide down into your wheel. So if you plan on doing something like this, it's definitely easier uh, to do it with the front wheel removed. So that's it for uh, mounting it. Uh, granted, it's not a very elegant solution, but it works. So let's go into the things I like and dislike uh, about the Anything Cage HD. So the first big like is that it just works. It carries things just as advertised. I like the open kind of modular design of the Anything Cage. It really allows you to uh, use different straps and different strapping methods depending on the load that you're carrying. Second big like is that I find that it's pretty durable. I've not had any problems with the anything cage breaking, the edges shattering or, or anything like that. And I'm generally not very gentle with my gear. So, so far so good. Third thing I, I really like about the anything cage HD is that it has a fairly narrow profile. So if you're not carrying a load uh, on your bike, I feel like it's narrow enough that if you go mountain biking, you're not gonna be running into things uh, with your forks. So that's it for the likes. There are a couple dislikes, however, so let's jump into those. And the first big dislike is a similar dislike I had to the Anything Cradle, and that's a strap. Yes, it's awesome that Salsa provides you with two straps, but they're pretty basic straps, just kind of plain webbing. There's no elasticity to them. There's no internal uh, rubber grippiness. So if you are carrying something uh, that's hard sided. There's nothing to prevent it from slipping around. So although the straps are perfectly functional, I do see myself upgrading uh, them in short order, probably to something like the Volet straps. It seems like the 20 inch Volet strap would be the right length. So moving on to my biggest dislike, and it's that it's definitely not optimized for using uh, with hose clamps. You can tell by the design, the they're passively telling you that you want to use it on a bike with three bolting mounts. But at the time when we got the Anything Cage HDs, we didn't have that kind of bike. So we kind of made it work with our mariachis using hose clamps. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the uh, design reasoning was. I feel like many people that are into bike packing uh, definitely use it in this method. So it seems strange that they're really kind of passively discouraging that with the design. And that's really it for the dislikes. Not a fan of the straps, but that can be easily upgraded. 
Uh, I wish it was definitely more hose clamp friendly, but in uh, the way that we've been using it, I've had no problems with the Anything Cage HD slipping. That said, I am very cautious about not overloading them. Mostly I use uh, the Anything Cage HDs to carry things that are bulky, but not very heavy. So I'm thinking of things like puffy jackets, uh, clothing, or even my wading boots, which probably when wet only weigh about two to three pounds. When riding, I do notice that added weight, but generally I feel like if you're riding in uh, not super technical terrain, mostly gravel roads, some kind of mild single track, then you definitely won't have a problem with the Anything Cage HDs. Again, as long as you keep uh, the weights that you're carrying in the cages, uh, to, to a reasonable amount. So are there any other Anything Cage HD users out there? How have they held up over the long term? And do, how have they held up using hose clamps? I'd love to know uh, from other people that have used them in far flung places, if they are an improvement over past designs or if you found them to break or what have you. So definitely leave your experiences in the comments below. And if you guys have any specific questions for me, leave those in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. I hope you guys liked this video, found it helpful. And if you did, uh, consider subscribing, consider supporting us financially on our bike travel channel endeavor. And thanks for watching.